Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about the tropism in plants. Now tropism is a very important property of plant that is telling us that plants are giving us response according to the environmental changes, right? And there are many different types of tropism. And obviously tropism, always I want uh, to see the tropism in such a way that plant prefer something over others. For example, if you look at the example of sunlight, plant prefers sunlight because plant needs to grow and plant needs to go for the photosynthesis process. For the photosynthesis to occur, they require sunlight. That's why they prefer to grow in sunlight, right? So if we look at the uh, sunlight and the presence of sunlight as the tropism, which is also called as phototropism. So if we look at phototropism, plant prefers phototropism. Plant prefers to grow in the presence of sunlight. Right? And another example, if we take the gravity as an example, plant, uh, especially the shoot area of the plant, remember plants are having two different area, one is the shoot area, another is the root area, right? So the shoot area of the plant always prefers anti-gravity because it is growing against gravity, it is growing on the top from the bottom, right? So they prefer to grow anti-gravity. So if we take gravitropism as an example, in that case, uh, the shoot is going against that, right? So plant is not preferring gravitropism positivity, right? So these are the important things. Now in this video, we'll be talking two examples. One example is a phototropism. Another example is gravitropism. Right, so tropism against gravity and photo means the sunlight, right? So what happens actually in this case we'll be looking at the examples and most of the time this phototropism, gravitropism, all these things are maintained by the hormone, remember? A very important hormone of plant that is termed as auxin. Auxin. Now how auxin works, uh, we have separate video of how auxin works, you can see that video in my YouTube, but I'm going to tell you a very uh, brief about that, that auxin is a hormone, when it is secreted, it is telling that cell to grow, divide rapidly, so it increases the cell division of uh, wh where the auxin is secreted actually, it increases the cell division of uh, that area, right, so whenever, suppose this is the shoot, or uh, this is a plant shoot, right? Now once auxin is secreted in this area, most of the auxin is accumulated in this area, they actually dilute the cell wall of the plant. As a result, the cells start to elongate and stretch a bit. So what happens, the cell division and elongation occurs in this side because auxin is, separate, auxin is accumulated in that side and no auxin is in this side. So ultimately, rapid cell division is this side but very less cell, cell division is this side ultimately leads to the plan to bend because remember always if one area is having higher division and other areas having very less division it will bend opposite to the area of high cell division that thing is very very important guys so whenever we are talking about any kind of tropism of plant try to remember this thing in your mind put this into your mind that whenever we are talking about the accumulation of auxin and increment of the cell division in the one side right so obviously the plant is going to bend the opposite side of where auxin accumulated, right? Because if this is the auxin accumulation side, high cell division will be occurred here. So cell will bend in the opposite direction. So that's all it is. That's all the basics and concepts you want to remember, right? And in this case, what happens in phototropism, uh, if we plant a tree there, we can see. So phototropism, let's say, let me draw a tree. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Let's say this is the tree. Or uh, simply, I'm not drawing anything else. Just like this. Yeah. So there's a tree. Now, in this tree is placed uh, in front of the sunlight, right? For example, the straight tree, like that. A very at the very beginning of a tree, seedling is start to come out just. And if the sunlight is coming from this direction, right? Normally what happens in phototropism, the plant prefer the phototropism. So plant shoot will try to go towards the light or the source of light, right? So plant wants to go towards the source of light. Sunlight is coming from this source. So what it will do, it will start to accumulate oxygen in this particular area, in this particular side. And this right-handed side from where the sunlight is coming, there will be very less oxygen. So as a result of that, 
it will encourage the cell division much more higher in this side but very less cell division in this side so ultimately remember oxygen accumulation is this side so this plant will bend to this right hand side so this plant will bend to this right hand side now normally due to during this phototropism the bending of the plant and all this thing occurs several millimeters uh, if we look at uh, from its axis several millimeters several angle it is uh, it has been transferred right now similarly if we look another example of gravitropism it will work something different so let's say we put a plant we put a plant let's say this is the And we put this plant in this orientation, right? Now, what happens here? Remember, gravity always works in this orientation. This is the way of act action of gravity. And plant do not like gravity to grow. Plant shoot actually because they want to go ag against the gravitation. So, so gravitation is kind of negative for plant. So plant want to grow against the gravity. So plant wants to grow in this direction, but gravity is pulling the shoot to grow in this bottom direction. So what it will do, during this process they start to accumulate auxin. And remember, they start to accumulate auxin in this bottom region. So as auxin accumulation occurs in the bottom region, what it will do, it will encourage the cell to to grow and divide in this area because oxygen accumulation will, will increase the cell dilutation and as a result cell will grow and cell division occurs rapidly so as rapid cell division occurs in this bottom area compared to the top area so what it will occur it will finally bend your tree to this top area so it, it will bend it it will bend it now the top area like this so ultimately it will grow like that from the previous angle which is this right again a particular angle is there so this is how whole the processes works so whenever suppose a plant needs to go in this side so it will accumulate oxygen in this side so it can bend and suppose this plant is going to bend in this left hand side of mine this right hand side of mine so they want to accumulate more oxygen there and it will bend the plant like this so it is very easy guys but obviously always when you are trying to look for any kind of tropism try to logically think that what the plant would want right once you understand what plant want then it will be fine for you guys but it's same thing for gravitropism if we look the same thing not for a, a shoot but for the root of the plant the root of the plant always want gravitropism and the positive of gravitropism because the root want to grow towards the gravitation right in that case this thing will be different but remember oxygen accumulation and release are mostly seen in the shoot area of the plant so we take two examples of shoot and we have discussed what the tropism will look like right so it's very basic and nothing to worry about thank you